Hello, I'm Miss Washington from the Dalton Public Library. I'd like to welcome you to Between the Pages. Today we're reading Birdie's Happiest Halloween, written and illustrated by Sue Jean Rim. Let's begin. Hachette Audio presents Birdie's Happiest Halloween, written by Sue Jean Rim, read by Emma Lisi. Birdie loved the fall. There were so many fun things to do, like watching the leaves change color, apple picking with Mommy and Monster, wearing big fuzzy sweaters, and playing touch football with her friends. But Birdie's most favorite thing about fall was Halloween. She loved trick-or-treating and carving pumpkins, and she especially loved dressing up. One year she dressed up as a robot. Another year she was a mummy princess. It was so much fun being anything she wanted to be. Everyone was excited for Halloween. I'm going to be a superhero, said Coco. I'm going as a kung fu master, cheered Federico. A baseball hall of famer, cried Byron. A juggling monkey, said Eve. I'm going to be Elvis, exclaimed Charlie. What are you going to be, Birdie? But Birdie didn't know yet, and she began to worry if she ever would. Monster had some ideas. The next day, on their way to pick out their pumpkin, Birdie, Mommy, and Monster walked by a museum. Look, there's a new exhibit, Mommy said. Oh, can we go in? Birdie asked. Maybe I'll get some ideas for my Halloween costume. Mommy agreed. Great idea, sweetheart. The museum can be full of inspiration. Whoa, and it was. Look at all the historic figures. Betsy Ross, maker of the first American flag. Amelia Earhart, first woman to fly across the Atlantic. Neil Armstrong, first person to walk on the moon. Joan of Arc, French heroine. Albert Einstein, theoretical physicist. William Shakespeare, playwright. George Washington, first president of the United States. Abraham Lincoln, 16th President of the United States. Leonardo da Vinci, artist, inventor, intellectual. Martin Luther King Jr., minister, humanitarian, civil rights activist. Sandra Day O'Connor, first female U.S. Supreme Court Justice. Eleanor Roosevelt, first lady of the United States, 1933 to 1945, humanitarian. Later at the pumpkin patch, Bertie asked, Mommy, can I really be anything I want to be? Absolutely, Mommy assured her. And I can't wait to see what you decide. Over the next few days, Bertie enjoyed the colorful fallen leaves, ate candy apples, and even scored the winning touchdown. But she never stopped thinking about Halloween. She imagined herself in different costumes. What if she was an astronaut, like Neil Armstrong? Or how about a physicist like Albert Einstein? What about a Supreme Court justice like Sandra Day O'Connor? Bertie liked these ideas, but they didn't feel quite right. On the night before Halloween, as Bertie finished carving her pumpkin, she had a historic idea. She knew just what she wanted to be. On Halloween day, Charlie, Coco, and Federico met Eve and Byron outside to go trick-or-treating. They all looked for Birdie, and there she was. It's the First Lady of the United States, said Charlie. What a great costume. Oh, I'm not the First Lady. 
Birdie declared, I am the president. Together, the juggling monkey, the superhero, the kung fu master, the baseball hall of famer, Elvis, and the president went off to celebrate Halloween. And they had the best time ever, being just who they wanted to be. Trick or treat! Thank you for joining us at the Dalton Library. We at the Dalton Library hope you have a safe and a fun Halloween. Thank you and see you next time at Between the Pages.